Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We've only got one piece of heart left to find, which I'm hoping to find around here somewhere. Uh, but anyway, now that we're in the Dark World, we also have these monsters that breathe powerful blasts and also just have a fair bit of health. Even, even with the fully upgraded Master Sword, it still takes two hits to get them. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need to actually find... Uh, yeah. I don't actually know where the last piece of heart is right now. So instead of doing that, we're actually going to go over here because this is the last dungeon that we can't actually open. So we're going to have to just go back to the light world for the moment. There is a rock here that we can pick up. We go up here. Now I can't remember how exactly to do this, but I think it's... Nope, wrong. If you hear the ba -ba sound, it means you got it. You d did it wrong. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to the light world now. Okay. So maybe it's... Nope. I can tell I haven't done this for a while. Please, get out of my way. Okay, so we hit that one. Nope, um, of course I had to do it every possible wrong com combination. Ah, so it's right, top, and then left. And for hitting all of them, it spawns in a Dark World portal. Okay, and it has the picture of Quake up here. So let's use it. And it makes the head disappear from Turtle Rock. Very accurately named place. But let's go in. Link, do you possess the medicine of magic? If not, I may... I recommend uh, against going any further. Basically, if you don't have a magic potion, you should probably get one. Just make sure that you can get through here. Anyway, for this we actually need the Cane of Samaria. Because if we see this this spot here, if we place a block onto it, or throw a block onto it or whatever, it spawns in a platform for us. Which is interesting. And the game doesn't actually tell you that, I don't think. Possibly. Uh, anyway, we can also hold it in a direction when it gets to a junction with that, like a like a half circle or full circle to choose which direction to go to. Uh, anyway, now, let me open up this chest here. Get a compass. Cool. There's also an eye above the door here. And also the door closes when we're looking at it, so we need to actually hold the, out, out our sword and go backwards into it. Just like that. Let's go to the right side of this place. It's very nice being able to pick where we stop by holding the direction we want to stop at. I think that's magic refill there. So let's head up this way now. And go in here. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's place that there. Okay. Let's go this way, I guess. No, that's probably the wrong, wrong decision. Should have done it the other way around. That's fine. Because once we get to this junction down here, I can make a loop around. And go back up again. So I should have just gone down straight away. Okay. 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 So we need the fire rod for this. Let's put that there. Light those two up. Light that one up. Light that one up. And that opens up the door, but those are only going to last for a few seconds. We need to run to the door. There we go. Now, let's get out the cape, because that's going to allow us to just turn invisible and walk through all these. Alternately, we could just dodge them. There's the, dun the dungeon map, so there we go, we can see how big this place is now. It's not terribly big, but it's still pretty big. Uh, but anyway, let's grab that and a small key. Just gotta do that. Ah, no, too early. And also whenever I activate it or deactivate it, it makes me stop while I'm walking. It's fine. Anyway, magic refill, that's good. 
Especially because we need to use magic to get around this place, so it's not up here. Now, I feel like this isn't necessary to go up this path, but I'll check it out anyway. I am safe. I'm so safe. I have to wait for all these blocks, floor tiles to do their thing. Okay, there we go. Let's go up to the next room then. And there's a fairy there. And some magic refill. That's all that's in here, though. That's everything. That was completely unnecessary to wait that long. Or even dodge that long to just get magic and a fairy. I have to question the design of that. Uh, also, I believe... This is probably just magic, right? Yeah. Still, I can check it out and make sure of myself. Uh, but anyway, let's go through this door here. And since we have a locked... Uh, since we have had a key... Uh, we also can take out this pokey-like enemy with our sword or sword beam. Ow. Here we go, and he drops a key for us, so we can get through this door. Also, I like how this is a cave-designed dungeon. Uh, also, it's been a while since I last used the boomerang, so let's use that a little bit. Although I could probably just use uh, the hookshot. Also, these are definitely chain chomps. <laughs> quite, quite definitely chain chomps. Uh, anyway, we have to push that block to get that key there. No, key? What what I get just then? Was not a key, because I don't have a key right now. I don't know what it was. I have no idea what it was. It's probably just some refill. Uh, anyway. Let's head on down this way. Another one of these pokey things. Also an antifair if we need an extra fairy. And these pipes here. Whenever we go into a pipe, it just takes us a lot faster than it would if we were just walking through them to the other end. We don't even need to touch any buttons after we get in and it starts moving. Now, let's go down first. Since we have a bit of a split path here. Oh my goodness. Anti-fairies. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Thank you. Oh, Everything is happening. Everything. Ah, okay, it's fine. We do need to take you out, though. Because you drop a key for us. Which means we can get in here. And take another pipe. Which takes us to a chest here. For the big key. Now, do what items do we have in this dungeon so far? Hang on, I need to check this. Okay, we've got all the dungeon items already, except for the main dungeon item. Okay, and this pipe takes us to over here, which has some magic for us. Cool, so that's that path completed. You need to make sure you take the down path first, otherwise you'll run into a dead end, because you need the big key. And also, since this uh, down path loops, it's probably just a lot easier to do that one first. Okay, this path takes us down here. So these enemies to take out. Nice. Nicely done. Ow. 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 Can I please hit you? Please hit you. Please let me hit you. Please let me hit you. Thank you. Uh, now, I believe we have a choice of direction to go here. Uh, but I think this room over here is unable to go anywhere for us. Although I think it is because we we do have the big key, but we need to go down first, so. Uh, if we go over here, we can see the big chest, but we can't do anything from here. So let's head over this way. We need that item, so it's going to make uh, everything a lot easier for us. Ah, the eyes can see me. Go into the hole, go into the hole. Okay, and now we're outside of the dungeon, which is a little bit strange. But also, this is a place that we can only get to. Hang on. This is also a place that we can only get to from the dungeon to get over to this entrance over here in the light world. Since we can't jump down from above there. 
So, let's check out this place. And let's shoot you. Nope, don't move. There we go. Just need to take everything out. And that opens up the door for us. And in here is the final piece of heart. Now we have 19 heart containers. Back into the dungeon we go, in the dark world. That's a really cool way to hide a piece of heart, but that's very easy to miss, I imagine. Uh, but anyway, let's get the dungeon item as well. Which is the mirror shield. You can reflect now reflect beams that your old shield couldn't block. This is just the best shield that we could possibly have at this point, so... It's gonna allow us to do... Get past all of the things. All of the eyes that shoot at us, if we're blocking it with our shield, we can't get through now, so that's especially helpful right now. Uh, now, let me take you out. I think this is the room that I thought would only be able to allow us to go one way and not the other. So let's blow that up and that up. Also, the top one, once it's open, has enemies that come out of it. Like that. Just need to be careful of that when you're right in front of it, I guess. Uh, anyway. What's with this room? I don't think this room has any actual purpose, quite possibly. What was... Whoa, whoa, why, whoa. I don't think I've ever been in here. Because I didn't realize you, if you defeat all the enemies, it would just open. That's interesting. There's probably other places in the game like that that I've actually noticed the sound randomly play and I didn't do anything with it. Anyway, this is a bunch of rupees, and we're also at 999 rupees. We've maxed out our rupees. So I probably don't need to stay in, stay in here any, any longer, so... That's really cool, though. There's, there's a few other hidden rooms that I haven't seen before, though. Especially the super special secret room. I can't remember how to get into it either, so that's a shame. Uh, anyway, that's a small key in there, so let's go through here. And downstairs, apparently. Oh, uh, let's see. Did everything up there already. Wow. Wow, we're actually very close to the end. Uh, but now we have this room, which is a bit of a... a platform maze, because we have all these ways to go, and not enough time to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go down here. There's a lot of different paths, places where you can change direction. But we need to get to a specific place to do everything. Okay, down here, I believe. No. I'm sure this is the same dungeon that I've always known. Probably. Hang on. Where am I? Go down here. I'm taking a lot of hits from this. Oh, this is going back this way. I went the wrong way again. Oh, no. This is going to the end, which I can't do anything with yet. This is very confusing. Oh, please go this way. Oh, boy. Now, I think I actually want to go that way. If I can manage it. Because I think I want to go... Oh, I probably should have just gone down there. Why can't I not go backwards? <laughs> Please. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Down. 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 Okay. And that takes us to the switch here, which opens the door. Now we need to find the exit again. Oh my goodness. Please don't hit me. Oh my goodness. Everything's fine. Everything's so fine. Well, at least we made it through. That's 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 the main thing. We've, we've made it. Also, this room has a bunch of these eyes that are going to shoot at me, so I need to be careful. Also, that enemy there is annoying at the end. Because it's just perfectly placed to get in the way. We need a key, so let's go check out this way. And we need to hold our shield out to block the beam in very specific directions, so... Pretty nice. Turn around. I don't know how I didn't get hit then. It's fine. 
Okay, turn around again. Although that enemy behind me is going to be annoying, probably. That's fine. I'll just take that. There's a lot of treasures in this room. There's only one of them that has the small key in it. Also, I believe we can actually go out this way. I think this is just an exit to the dungeon. Oh, I see what it is. So I think we can use the light, the mirror, the mirror here to go back to the light world. And in here, I think probably somewhere in there is probably, um, like a fairy fountain nearby. But also it means you can jump down to get back into the dungeon and, and come back. So it's easy enough to get back from jumping down there into the light por portal between the worlds. Okay. Now this place is interesting. I'm going to be in trouble in a second here. Ow. Please. Thank you. Just want to make my way through. If I can manage that. Ow. Oh my goodness. I might just turn that into a fairy so I can have a better chance of living as we get close to the end of this. Uh, let's go up here. There's also that enemy over there that I might try to take out, actually. Also another anti-fairy. Okay, that dropped nothing, so I'm going to just leave that then and go down this way. Okay, here we are at the end. We get a little bit of refill of everything. Also the full magic refill, I guess. But here we go. It's boss time. There it is. Now, we need to take out its heads, which do different things. I probably want to take out the ice one first, because that one's actually changing the blocks on the ground to ice, which is going to make this a little bit difficult with everything else. I'm not sure if the fire that is spit out can take out the ice blocks on the ground. Also, once you hit a head with the opposite uh, element, you need to hit it with your sword to take it out faster. Otherwise, it would just take forever. But anyway, that's that done. This is also why it wants you to have magic, so you can have the fire and ice rods for the end. Also, I think that means that we need both the fire rod and the ice rod to actually beat this boss, possibly. But there we go. The final heart container, which spawns in the middle because it doesn't want to spawn it off screen. And the final crystal. I appreciate your coming this so far to, to rescue me. As I thought, you are the legendary hero. Oh, thank you, Zelda. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Let's return peace to the country without fail. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the, to the Triforce. Well, there we go. That's the last dungeon done. And I believe everything else in the game is completed by this point. Since we have all the hearts, all the items, all the upgrades, so here we go. Final preparations are already done, in my opinion, so... I don't think I need anything else. So let's just go straight... ...to the tower over here. Because in the Dark World, this is actually Ganon's tower. I tried to avoid looking at it when we first came to the Dark World, so... Ah, uh, but anyway, nothing over here. It's just the tower. Link, we are going to break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power.
So there we go. Let's go in. So, this place is, um... It's quite big. It's very big. Level 8. Oh my goodness. So, there's a lot of places we can go, but I think we need to go down first. One of the... One of the two down stairs. Uh, and there's also a lot of small keys that we need to find to be able to get everything, so... I'm gonna try and get as much as possible. I don't need anything, since we already have... All the items. Maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe I'll just try to get to the end. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to get everything, though, is the thing. It's a real problem. Also, you can't just stand in the doorway in this room, unfortunately. Because there's a wall master. You also can't really use your sword in here because there's also the... The things on the, the place, top and bottom, to just stop you completely from... Because every time you swing your sword, it's gonna activate the f after the fire. Also, I guess it could. No, don't grab me. No, don't. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. Also, I didn't have a key, and I needed a key to get to the end of that room. So maybe I'm assuming it's gonna spawn in a chest after everything else in that room is done. Otherwise, what else can I do? But the tile hit me into the thing, and I'm annoyed. Uh, let me just put that on there, please. Please? I can throw this thing like a crazy person. Also, can I or can I not push one of these blocks? I'm not sure. It's a question I have, I just don't have an answer for it. Probably not, though. Uh, anyway, let's go this way. Also, I think that door there is a waste of a key. This is probably not the best strategy that I could use. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Just keep dodging everything. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh my goodness. The moment of terror. Don't hit me. Okay, there, there's still nothing here. <laughs> there we go. It just took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Okay. Um, I guess we can check up here. Okay, interesting. There's nothing here. At the moment, at least. Also, I think the Warmaster is probably going to stick around. Maybe? Or maybe it was just in that room to annoy me. Okay, this is just a trap room, apparently. Take the ferry, though. Okay, also I believe if I burn you... No, you're just gone. Okay, good. Good. Um, push that out of the way. There's a bunch of these torches that we need to light to go down here. Let me just check this room over here quickly. Wall master, don't do that. This is not a great room to have a wall master in, or um, maybe it is a good room to have the wall master in. Okay, there. Ow, ow, ow. Get rid of you. Ah, uh, don't hit me. Okay, so what am I doing here? Not that. Down? No. Waiting for the wall master to drop again. So maybe something here, please? No. Why are they there? What is this room? What is its purpose? I can feel that coming. Just every second, there's a war master. I cannot figure out which way I'm meant to do this. I'm not sure if I've actually done this before, though. 
Okay, I can push that there. I don't know how that helped. I don't know- I don't think that helped at all. So, I can't do anything. I don't think there's anything to this room. Probably. It's just the biggest troll that Nintendo has ever done. Unless maybe the, the first block that I pushed, I can push in a better direction. Nope, it's all stuck now. It's fine. Don't hit me. Ow. Okay, let's try to light up all these torches now. Okay, fire. Rod. Light that up. Please, 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 please. Light that there, and light that there, and go into the door, please. Ah, <sighs> second too late. I do not like when I miss the thing there. Also, it's it does the jingle every time one of the torches changes its state after it's activated. It's all fine. Can I take you out from here, please? That'd be nice. I... Oh, you can just walk right through there. Can I walk through there? No, I can't. What? That's rude. Give me the magic. Give me the magic. Uh, and we need to blow up that switch over there by throwing a bomb onto that conveyor belt. Just need to hit it with the last part of the explosion. There we go. Nice. Is there anything else here? Guess not. Let's go. Okay, treasure! All the treasure. Can I please not? Thank you. Uh, let me go with that, grab that. There's also some things around here that we can push, I guess. Get out of here. Can't push this, though. Low on health again. That's okay, because we have the compass. Now we can do anything. I'm glad that I went all that way for the compass. I guess this does continue on, I guess, so that, that's good. At the very least. Let me go up here as well. It's a good thing there's no wall master in here. Hit that. Hit that. I have some more keys, so go through here. Oh, and I think... I need to run. That didn't work. Oh, this is not gonna work at all. Especially if I do that. Just fall off completely, just out of nowhere. Why not? Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. Okay. Let me go get this. I'm just gonna dash straight through everything there. Also, this is interesting, because that's the opposite way than I, that I thought that was gonna be. Why did it not activate? That's strange. I'm glad, though, because it meant I actually got through that without a ton of trouble. Also, I can't really hit you from here. What is this? What is this madness? Oh. There's a switch underneath that. That's cool. Anyway. Let's go over, over in this direction. Also, if we light this up, it actually shows the, the invisible panels on the, the ground that are too dark to see. Which is good for us. Except that now we can't see them. Um, ether. Oh my goodness. Get across! Okay. Show me the path. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So much stuff here. Just so we can't see. I think if you had the brightness up, you could probably see around here. Because I think they are still there if you look closely enough, possibly. With the right TV setup and all that. Uh, let me, um... Let me use my magic powder on this. Because I don't... I, I want to have my health back. Also, I would be very helpful to also get... No, oh, I was going to try and put one into a bottle and it didn't work. Oh well, let's get this. Ten arrows. And let's blow up that. It's the only hole that we can blow up to get down. Oh, hello, boss refight. Let's take you out with the silver arrow, since each one should take you out. Just like that. 
just shows how far we've come. Please, thank you. And now I think we want to go up first, because otherwise we'll miss out on these items because the door closes. Big key. Nice. Master key of the dungeon. Some bombs. And ten arrows. Well, the big key was the main part of that, because we need that's what we need before we can continue. In the main part of the dungeon. Ah, uh, but also, let me blow up this wall over here, because I think this is going to have fairies behind it. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, fairies. Give me the fairies. Fairy. Give me fairy. Ah, oh, I fell. Give me fairy, give me fairy. Thank you. Put it in a bottle. Now I just need magic. Since I've apparently used a ton of that. Also, that's convenient. The big chest is right here and gives us the red mail, the final upgrade of the game. This provides even better protection than the blue mail. So now we take a lot less damage than we'd ever have. Uh, but anyway, with that, that should be it for now. So thank you all for watching. Oh, hang on. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to die. That's the main reason I walked into this room. I'll see you all next time.